Hello. So you're curious about the uh, Taylor series expansions of sine and cosine. So I'll kind of show you how that's derived. So we'll just do sine. Uh, cosine will be done the exact same way. But the generic form for the um, uh, Maclaurin series is going to be summation uh, n equals zero to infinity of f to the nth derivative. And it's going to be evaluated at point x equals zero. So we'll throw in a zero there over n factorial. Uh, this is going to be times x to the n. So if we just use sine, um, sine of x, and sort of plug that in to our uh, Maclaurin series expansion, then we get, uh, let's see, so our function is sine of x. So it's going to be um, without the derivative, first of all. So the first step we would take is going to be um, sine of zero, and it's gonna be zero factorial, which is one, and x to the zero is one, so it would be just be sine of zero for our n equals zero term. Then for our n equals one term, so our first derivative, derivative of sine is gonna be cosine, and then evaluate it at zero, and then it's going to be over uh, one, one factorial is just one, and then x to the one is just gonna be x. And if you can just continue this, so uh, it's actually one derivative of cosine is going to be negative cosine. So we can do minus, and it's going to be sine of zero. It looks like a six or something. Sine of zero. It's going to be over, uh, let's see, this was zero factorial, one factorial. This will be two factorial. And then it's going to be x squared. And we can do a couple more terms, but you kind of get the idea. So this is going to be minus again, because it's minus uh, cosine zero over three factorial x to the three. And then now it's going to flip because derivative of cosine is negative cosine. So now it's going to be positive sine zero over four factorial uh, x to the four. And we'll do one more plus, um, yep, yeah, still plus cosine zero, five factorial, x to the five. So now if you were to actually evaluate these, sine of zero is zero. So this gets canceled out. Sine of zero is zero. This gets canceled out. This gets canceled out. And so on. And all you're left with, cosine of zero is one. So all you're going to be left with, cosine of zero is one times x is just going to be x. And then one over three factorial. Uh, this is going to be minus, right? So it's plus, this is minus uh, 1 over 3 factorial times x to the third. This one got canceled out. This one is going to be plus 1 over 5 factorial x to the 5, and so on. And that's how you derive your um, the Taylor series expansion, or in this case, uh, Maclaurin series expansion of sine of x. So you can see now how this would match with the series that you're looking at. Again, you can do the same thing for cosine. And for those, you get only the even terms instead of only the odd terms that you get for this. So hope this helps.